Yo, it is spooky season, my favorite time of the year, and it is also Hoodoo Heritage Month. Um, I have recorded this video a couple of times. I'm trying not to make it too long, but I wanted to do a series of videos showing you all the particular herbs and powders and potions that I have used. And I wanted to start with this one because I believe that protection is very important. So just to give you a little bit of a lesson, hoodoo is a mesh of African spirituality, African voodoo meshed with American Christianity. When you are doing hoodoo work, you are using passages from the Bible in your work. So I definitely recommend that if you are going to do spell work, you do things to protect yourself. And so you can sprinkle this. It's, it's called devil's dung. I know. And um, I got it at my local botanica. You can sprinkle this around your home for protection. You can use this as an incense for protection as well. You can use this as a cloak, like if you're doing something and you don't want to get caught, you can use it this way. The way that I personally use this, so I'm intuitive, right? I can feel if someone is messing with me energetically. Um, I will either have dreams or I can feel it. And it's kind of hard to describe what it feels like. But, you know, if like if you've ever gotten any type of dental work done and they numb you, it doesn't hurt when they're working in your mouth, but you can feel the pressure. That's what it kind of feels like. So if I feel like someone, you know, is getting readings done on me and I don't want to be I don't want that person bothering me. I don't want to be associated with that person. I don't talk to that person. I don't bother that person. But I feel like they're throwing spell work at me. They're throwing magic at me. They're getting readings done on me. Then I use this. And basically, I write out my petition paper. I sprinkle some of this on it. It's a powder. It's really cakey. It doesn't smell good at all. It smells like boo-boo and sulfur. And um, it's very powdery. And so I just sprinkle it on my name paper. I wrap it up going away from me. So I fold the paper away from me, which is when what you want to do if you're doing any type of baneful magic. I wrap it up in twine and I just put it on my specific altar and I say the specific verse from the Bible and I just said it and forget it. As far as how it affects people, I don't know, but I'm assuming that for an example, if someone tries, you know, puts in their head that they want to do a reading on you or if they want to do some spell work on you, something will distract them. Something will make them take their, you know, thoughts off of you. They'll forget about doing something to you. Um, something will prevent them from saying or doing something about you. Um, but yeah, so this is good for protection. I highly recommend if you do any type of spell work, do spell work to protect yourself. This can be sprinkled around your home, um, and you can make it into an incense. I wouldn't, you can burn it in your home, but it doesn't smell good at all. So yeah, um, this is just a short video. I will be doing a couple more like this. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions.